Father? Father? Father, wake up! Father! Nurse! Doctor! Nurse! Yes? There's something with my father. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! The heart machine and the oxygen have been caught. This is... this is unusual. Somebody's... Do something! Do something about it! Uh, okay! No! Mouth to mouth! No! Nothing! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry, Mike! Your dad is... is dead. So, this has been a nasty affair. Looks like the heart monitor's been um, tampered with. And this gentleman has sadly deceased. I'm going to have to do some serious investigations around here. It's a long time since we've seen this sort of thing happen in Antonville. I think the first people to, to interview is going to have to be his family. So, this son of his that was here when he passed. I think I'd like to talk to him first. Hello, uh, my condolences. Thank you, Inspector. Um, it's Mike, Mike Roberts. The dear departed father was, was Thomas. I do no. apologize. My father. Someone has killed my father, Inspector. You have to do everything to find who's guilty for that. Yes, uh, but we intend to, sir. Now, I'd like to ask, um, why do you say he's been killed? Well, there was tampered with the heart machine. My father came here just for a medical checkup and a stent for his heart. He was a fine man. He was strong and healthy. Just a little thing. Just a little thing. And now he's dead. I blame the hospital people. I blame them all. I mean, that nurse. I mean, she's completely incompetent. When I called her in, it took her several minutes before she started reanimation procedures. I don't think that's normal, Inspector. Okay, so I know you're upset, but I'd like you just to raise the t lower the tone a little bit, please, if you don't. I'm sorry. I would prefer it, sir, if you didn't raise your voice to me. But I do. I will take your views on board. Did you see anyone else um, in in the five minutes before you visited your father? No, I came to the hospital. I bought some chocolates, which he liked, in the in the shop downstairs on the on the ground floor, and then I took the elevator to the fifth floor. There was no one which I could see in the corridor. I mean, the nurses, yeah, they were talking and chatting in their little room as if they had nothing, nothing else to do instead of taking care of the patients, yeah. And then when I went in, my father was lying there dead in his bed. Okay, thank you, sir. I think you should really go and have a nice cup of tea and um, with some bereavement counsellors, I believe, in, in the, on the ground floor. Thank you, Inspector. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes, I think I need to talk to, talk to this nurse now. Hi, hi. Hello, hello. Hi. My name's Verity. Verity what? Madison, Inspector Verity Madison, but you can call me Verity. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Madison. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Something horrible's happened in the hospital, you know. Yes, this must be very distressing for you, Nurse Mary. Uh, well, you know, I tried to do my best. I tried to give him, like, you know, air with my mouth. I tried to push his heart. The man, the man wasn't coming back. Uh, and I, there is no explanation why the machine stopped working. And who is responsible for that machine, Nurse Mary? Well, uh, the doctor, the doctor is, is, Dr. T is responsible for 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 supervising the machines. I, I am just a nurse. Dr. T, was Dr. T on duty that day? He was, but but I couldn't see him around when this happened. All right, all right. I think I'd like to talk to this uh, Dr. T. Yeah, yeah, you should. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Where do I, I find him? Oh, um, he's in the next room. I'll, I'll give him a call and I, I, I'll bring him in. Thank yeah. you, love, thank you. I think you do a marvellous job. Thank you. Hmm, it's Dr. T. Dr. T! Dr. T. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, there yes. you are, Dr. Very T. Very busy. So, sir, uh, my name's Verity Madison, and I'm investigating this unfortunate incident at your hospital. Understand the deceased was your patient. 
Yes, I have many patients. I have so many patients and so little time. And, and you're taking my time now, and I, I need to... There are other patients that need to be seen. Yes, sir, I do understand. I do fully understand that you are a busy man. However, it is my duty as one of Her Majesty's inspectors to investigate the untimely demise of, um, Tom Roberts. Yes, Tom Roberts. Tom Roberts is gone. It's unfortunate that the machine is just stopped working, <laughs> but uh, I have so many other patients as well. I, I'm so busy. I need to go from uh, from one room to the other, and uh, people need. Uh, I'm getting buzzed. People need me now. I'll not keep you long, sir. Now, what I'd like to ask you is, did anyone else have access to Tom Roberts? Heart machine. Oh, the heart machines. Well, anyone that goes into the room has access to the heart machines. Um, yeah, you have no security in this hospital. I mean, we, we do, but we're so busy that uh, it's perfectly possible. I mean, I believe that uh, the cleaner, Patrick, uh, has gone in earlier uh, to, to clean around the heart machine. Yes. Uh, the cleaner, Patrick, you say? Okay. Yes, yes. Is he on duty today? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes. All right. Well, I'll not keep you, uh, Doctor. I understand you're a very, very busy man. So thank yes. you for your time. Yes, now. I, I must go. <laughs> thank uh, you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know why you cry, Mother. Okay, the old man is dead. He was not a nice... He was not a nice man, yeah? I know, I know, I know, I know, my son. But uh, this is this is so tragic. I, d I don't, just don't understand how it happened. Mother, you're always so emotional. Okay, it's a tragic thing. He's dead, and that's good for us. You know, he was abusing you. He didn't give me a dime. Okay, I dropped out of, of school and university, and he stopped supporting me. Yeah? He had so much problems with the man. No, he's dead. Uh, really good for both of us uh, and, for our, and for my sis. Oh, oh, I know, my darling son, and and that's why he ended up in hospital because he was he was drinking all the time. He was just wasting yeah. his life and not caring about us. Yeah, yeah, he was so aggressive and he took toll on his heart. The damn man. No, I don't. I'm no. I'm not feeling sorry. But I was thinking, yeah, we can blame someone here in the hospital. We could. Could even win a lawsuit, I think. But, but Mike, however horrible he was, I'm not a murderer, and you are not. We wouldn't. No, of course not. We wouldn't no. do anything. Yeah. No, no, no. no. <sighs> okay, I, I understand you talked to that detective, so I think I'll go in and see her later. Yeah, I mean that inspector. I don't know if she. Uh, I don't know if she can, if she's any capable. But anyway, we'll see. Okay, my son. Right. See, you, see later. you later, mother. <laughs> hey. Hi, doctor. Hi, you uh. have done an awful job of cleaning in this hospital. I'm, I'm so sorry, doctor. I'm, I'm very tired. I'm, I'm, I'm doing shifts of 12 hours to, to keep up and to clean all the rooms here in the hospital. Patrick, we are all very busy. I'm working 12 hours myself and uh, but, but I don't make... The stupid mistakes I'm that you do. I'm sorry, Doctor. I'm very sorry. I will do my best. I will do my best. I will, I will not, not happen again. I'm sorry, Doctor. Do you know, in four or five of these rooms now, I've found that you've... Uh, you've managed to nudge the plugs on some of these machines when you've been I never, them. No, I never have done that, Doctor. I never have done... I never touched the plugs. You always told me, don't touch the machines and don't touch the plugs. i never done that. Exactly. I tell you, do not touch the plugs. No, I, 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 the not, plugs, they, they're, they're no, moving. No plugs. No plugs, Doctor. No plugs. Patrick. Tom Roberts died today because the machine was unplugged. If I find out your mop has been near that plug, no, no, you're I, bringing an awful no, reputation on a hospital. No, no, I haven't touched the machine, Doctor. I swear. I haven't touched the machine. No. No. Patrick, you're incompetent. You need to buck your ideas up. Otherwise, I'm gonna get you sacked. Oh, this is quite a case. It's taken its toll on me. I think 
there's a few different uh, characters involved in this one. The other man had a bob or two. Oh, Vera Madison, look at you. I'm ready for the knacker's yard. Okay, I best crack on. So, who else have I got on my list that I need to see? This cleaner fella. I think I need to investigate him a little bit. Hello, sir. Hello. My name's Vera Madison, Inspector Vera Madison. I'm, I'm pleased to meet you. So, unfortunately, um, as you know, there's been an incident at the hospital and I just want to ask you a few questions. There's nothing to worry about at this stage, sir. It wasn't me, ma'am. It wasn't me. I never touched a plug. What wasn't you? I never touched the plug when I was cleaning the room. It wasn't me. No, no, it wasn't me. Okay, you say you didn't touch the plug. I'm a lawyer servant here. I work here 20 years in the hospital. Uh, no, no complaints from here. No complaints. No, no, not so whatsoever, miss. I, I'm sorry, ma'am. How well did you know the deceased? Did, did you clean his room for the weeks preceding his operation? Yeah, I, I did. It was in a very... Nice man. We, we had long talks. <laughs> when I was cleaning, of course. Well, what did you talk about? Did you talk about his family, his wife? Yeah, he was, uh, he was very unhappy with his family. He said to me, his son, he was a nobody, a loser. And his wife, she didn't uh, respect him. That's what he said to me. But I haven't touched the plant. Okay, so I've made a note that you didn't, under any circumstance, oh, touch oh, this plug. No, I didn't. I'm an honest man, miss. I, I'm, I'm working hard for 20 years. I'm working here in the hospital. Uh, no complaints. I've got a note to that, sir. 20 okay. years. 20 years. And 20 I must say, years. How many years? 20. 20, yes. I got that, sir. I got yeah, that, sir. Yeah. I, I, got, I got a watch yeah, when I was here 20 years. You see? A nice watch with an engraving. Oh, that's lovely, yes. yes sir. Patrick, oh. best cleaner. Well, perhaps you should get back to your duties now, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Inspector. Yes, I will be in touch if we need to speak to you any more. Okay, Inspector. Yes, I think I need, now need to see this wife of his. Apparently he wasn't too happy with her. Inspector Madison, I'm so glad I can speak to you in private. I'm very sorry for your la loss, Mrs. Mrs. Roberts. Uh, yeah, it's Tanya, Tanya Roberts. Uh, well, you see, um, do, do you want to ask me any questions? Well, first of all, I'd like to just explain that this is an informal discussion. Um, and we're just trying to get a picture of, of the, the, the days before your husband's untimely demise. And I understand this is a very difficult time for you, madam. It is, indeed. Unfortunately, I have to ask you a rather sensitive question, which is, um, I've heard that your husband and yourself are having a few marital difficulties. I'm afraid so. I cannot, I cannot lie to you. Our marriage was completely a disaster, especially because he was fighting constantly with my daughter, Susan. Fighting with your daughter, Susan? Yeah, you see, I have two children, Mike and Susan. Yes, I've met Mike. Yes, he's... he's, he's yes, yes. He's quite you... an angry young man, isn't he? My, 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 my son, yes. He, to be honest, he has been looking after us. He has been the man of the family because my husband has just been drinking and gambling, forgetting all about us and... I, I cannot dare telling you how he treated my daughter as well, but you may speak to her. She will tell you in her own words how she suffered. I'm very sorry to hear that, ma'am. Was there ever any um, incidents of domestic violence that I should know about? <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to say just speak to my daughter we'll be in touch ma'am if we have any further questions for you thank you very much thank you if you could send in your daughter susan 
this family. Honestly, some men shouldn't be allowed to have families, in my opinion. But I'll talk to this daughter, Susan. <laughs> oh, miss. I'm Inspector Verity Madison, and I'd, I'd like to extend my condolences for your loss. <laughs> it's a relief, really. I'm just crying with relief. My father, he... He didn't treat me well, you see. And uh, now he's gone. Oh, I feel awful. I feel awful saying that. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Inspector. It's all, it's all right, Miss. All sorts of emotions come out at times like this, in my experience. Yes. When you say he didn't treat you right, what what do you mean? <laughs> I'd always get the blame. I'd get the blame for everything. If he'd... Uh, when he'd been drinking or, or gambling, it was always my fault somehow. And, uh, he'd lock me in the cupboard. And how old were you when he used to lock you in this cupboard? <laughs> Nine. And did he come That's when it started. So did this, this behaviour continue over the years? Yes. Yes, it did. But I still loved him. I, he's my father. Oh, I have so many emotions. I... You, yes, ma'am. And we do have a very, very good bereavement counsellor that I can give you the number for. Would you like it? Yes, yes, thank you. No, and I'll just get my bag. There you go, love. <laughs> it sounds like you've been through the mill, but I just need to ask you one more question, I'm afraid. Oh, yes. Do you know of anybody outside of your family that may have wanted your father dead? He was a difficult man. An angry man. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he had many enemies. Okay, thank you, miss. And you do make sure you, you get on that website and contact that bereavement counselling service. Yes, yes, I will. I just... It's just it's such a relief, you know. Such a relief. Right, well, it seems like um, I'm going to have to read my notes and draw some conclusions. Susan, stop crying. I mean, the beast is gone. Be happy for yourself, for me and for mum, okay? I, I still loved him, Mike. I still loved him. How can you love a man like that? Even if he's your father. I guess I... I just felt sorry for him, you know? The further he fell into the spiral, the drinking, the gambling, the... The harder it was for him to get out. Okay, but that's not an excuse yet. That's absolutely no excuse. He did it all to himself, and what he got, that he deserved. Like, how can you put it like that? Uh, because it's a truth, sis. You know, when he used to lock me in that cupboard, I used to dream that one day I'd put him in a cupboard and lock it forever. Well, and that's exactly what we are going to do. We will lock him up in a coffin. I'm putting it away forever. I'm going for a coffee. Dr. T? Dr. T? One moment. I... I have found something in the machine. There's a strange thing on the cable. That's like a chewing gum or glue or something. So the cables are sticking together. Somebody has done that deliberately on, on one of the machines. I, I was, you know, looking in, in behind it. It's definitely been somebody, somebody doing it. I can't believe that. I thought it was that bloody Patrick. You know, the way he cleans so, so, so badly. It, it, it takes a brain, you, you know. I don't think Patrick has a brain. It takes a brain to, 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 to do that kind of connection with the cables. Mm, I just thought I should tell you. I'm sorry, I never have chewing gum. I, I am a very good gum. I never, I never use chewing gum. I'm sure Patrick picks up enough chewing gum on his rounds cleaning. I'm sure he could have it if he needed it. Hmm. 
Anyway. What do you have the brains to do? <laughs> well, when that yeah. inspector comes around, we've, we've got more information for her. Yes. Okay. I've drawn my conclusions. So now I'd like to talk to Susan, Patrick and the nurse once more. Uh, thank you for joining me in this interview. Um, do you have any further information you can give me, any of you? Yes, Inspector Madison. I, I found that the cables of the machine had been stuck together with some kind of chewing gum or glue, but it looks more like chewing gum because it's got a mint flavour. I, I never used chewing gum. Never. I, I wasn't me. Okay, I'm going to put you three out of your misery. So, Susan, I'm very sorry for your loss and I know that it wasn't you. I've followed up your alibis and it's definitely not you, love. So you go off and you heal. Thank you. Thank you very much, Inspector. Nurse, you do a grand job. Ma, I take my hat off to you, love. And I know that you have nothing but kindness in your heart and also your alibi stands up you were with mr mcvitty in the in the ict room when the murder took place so it weren't you so you you can go back to your duties love thank you inspector madison i hope you find the real uh, oh we will ma'am you don't worry about that we will we always get our man or woman thank you and patrick you have to be more careful with those Knock, knock, knocking those plugs out of their sockets, but this wasn't how the murder took place. And also there's a backup generator, so you don't need to worry. Just be more careful with your Hoover in future. Yes, ma'am. And a I bit will. more thorough with your cleaning. I will, ma'am. I will. Thank you. And Thank you, ma'am. Here's to the next 20 years of cleaning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Goodbye, Patrick. Bye. So, down to my three suspects. Dr. T, Mike Roberts, and Mrs. Roberts. Oh, dear, 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 dear. So, Mrs. Roberts, I know it wasn't you. I know you were at the Tallinn salon when the murder happened. We followed up your information that you gave us. But I also think you should have done more to protect your young daughter from being locked in cupboards. You're right. I will never forgive myself for for not doing that. But I was also afraid of my husband to take revenge on me. I understand that, ma'am, and I, I'm going to give you a, a, a number for a, a, a counselling service for abused wives. Thank you. You may go. Thank you, Inspector Madison. Mike Roberts, you had every motive to kill your father. And you're an angry young man, and I suggest you too take some counselling for that anger. A very good anger management service at our disposal. Do you have anything to say? No, I don't have anything to say. Just find whoever did it. We will, sir. Thank you. Would you like to, to use the anger management service? No, I don't want to use the anger management service because I'm never angry. All right, sir. You may go. Thank you. I'm a very busy man. I've got, got to go. Yes, Doctor. You are a very busy man. Because most of your time is take up, taken up with research. And I put it to you that you were trying out your new research into adhesive materials for ventilation equipment. And I put it to you that that ventilation equipment adhesive material does not work. And you put it on the machine of Thomas Roberts, did you not? Oh. Oh. Yes, yes, you... God damn Inspector, you've got me. You see, I'd been researching these adhesive materials for, for so long and they wouldn't let me try it out, you see. I've been wanting to, to try it out on, on all the machines in the hospital and they didn't allow me. Said it was too dangerous. But I knew if I could get this research done and if I could 
use the adhesive materials to to prevent the usual things that happen with machines. The wires that the shorting out to to make it so all of the wires would just become one. I. But it didn't, did it, Doctor T? No, it had the opposite effect. In fact, it caused the untimely demise of Tom Roberts. It was supposed to. It was supposed to help him. It was supposed to to show that the future of machines. They didn't Dr. need that many wires. You could just have less, and, and okay, I would have been okay, famous. Doctor Roberts, I'm going to give you a card for. a a service that tells you all about ethics committees and the importance of them. Now, take him away. No! You're going to go down for a very long time. No, I didn't mean to. No, my research. What will happen to my research? And, ah, ah, my research! No! So that was it. Crime solved. Thank <laughs> you.